My name is Jesse Roman. I'm the staff writer at NFPA Journal. And uh, I recently got to go to New York City to visit the FDNY headquarters to learn about a new computer algorithm that they have uh, called Firecast. And it's part of what they call the risk-based inspection system. Firecast updates itself every night. So it goes through all 330,000 buildings in New York City, 7,500 different risk factors, and it jumbles all the numbers for all the buildings in each neighborhood and assigns each a spe specific risk score based on all that information. So it does that every single night. And the reason it does it every single night is because there's new information that is coming into the system constantly. So we're talking about 17 different city agencies that are feeding information. We're talking about the general public. Say I see a rodent in my hallway, so I call the 311 non-emergency hotline in New York City and report that. That information is going to show up in Firecast. That's one of the risk factors, you know, vermin or rat sightings or something like that. They have variables. There are so many different risk factors. And some of them are correlated with fire in specific neighborhoods, and some of them aren't. So if you're in a neighborhood where rodent problems do correlate with fire based on the fire history, then you report a rodent your risk score of that building is going to go up and then the next day maybe it will be on the list to go inspect. So it's very dynamic. It's constantly updating itself and it's it's always sort of changing and updating based on real world situations. So it gets smarter with time. So it's a smart machine. That's that's what smart firefighting is. While this, these huge computer servers are going through this computational process to uh, get a risk score for each building in the city, what the end user, what the firefighter actually sees in the firehouse is very straightforward. They log into a computer system uh, that essentially has a list of buildings in order of priority of, of which one they should inspect first through 10, basically. Um, and that screen has a whole host of information about the building. Some of these fire companies are going on 5,000 fire calls a year. So along with you know, building inspections, fire calls, trainings, all sorts of other things they're responsible for, um, they're not able to get to every building. So by prioritizing the buildings that you do inspect by saying, since we can't get to all of them, we're going to inspect the riskiest ones, and so essentially, a firefighter in the firehouse can just log onto this screen. They can see all of the buildings that day that they need to inspect. And for them, it's a very, very simple process. You wouldn't know by logging in all of the computational uh, fancy pants uh, algorithm was behind developing this list. All the firefighter really sees is, here's a list of buildings on my screen that I need to inspect. I think that the firefighters in New York City do see the value of Arbus. I think that the technology and all the kind of fancy stuff that goes on in headquarters with this algorithm and how it collects all these all this data from all these different agencies, I think that stuff is kind of like, you know, I'm not sure that they, they will admit how impressed you know they might be with that. They might roll their eyes on that. But I think that the concept of ensuring that they get into the riskiest buildings in the city and that they familiarize themselves with those buildings, uh, I think that they see the, the value of that both for their safety and the public safety. So I think that they embrace the concept. Most buildings are you know, at minimal risk of having a fire event. There are a group of buildings in any particular neighborhood for whatever reason, whether it's you know there's a restaurant in there, whether they're abandoned, whether they're going through a renovation or something like that that are just going to be inherently more likely to have a fire event. So if the fire department is getting into those buildings more, catching problems before they do result in a fire, familiarizing themselves with the building in case there is a fire, it's going to improve the whole situation for everybody. It's going to reduce the amount of fires, reduce the amount of property loss, and reduce the amount of fatalities in New York City.